We are out today feeding bees again, taking advantage of these nice, nice feeding days. We are around the outskirts of the apiary. I think I have a neighbor a mile and a half that way, another one a mile and a half that way. And I don't want to feed them syrup, so I'm keeping my money to myself. And we are feeding with these larger hive top feeders the two and a half gallon feeder pails which I dearly hate with a passion but they do their job and they do get a lot of syrup down into these nests real quick and that's the name of the game right now is bulk feeding dropping that syrup down to that nest and getting them ready while we still have the weather to do so I hate these pails because they leak and they're heavy and they drip so the compromise to that is open feeders and, and where we can't open feed with these small pails. I thought these small pails when I first adopted them, they kind of look silly because they're smaller and took a little more time because we had to go around and fill more often. But these have been one of the most useful feeders that I've ever used on the honey farm so far. They practically don't, I've never, I don't think I had too many of these pails ever leak because uh, they're smaller that daytime nighttime temperature difference within that vacuum isn't disturbed as much so you hardly get any drip and if there is it's so little that the bees can keep up to it if the bees don't want the syrup they don't take it and it just kind of sits over top of them we can also fill these pails half full if we want during times in the spring when we don't want to feed them a lot we just want to feed them a little bit we can fill it up half full and when I have my guys kind of measuring out if they misjudge a little bit this way or that way it's not a big difference. You can't do that with these bigger pails because there's so much more volume so if you fill these pails you know a difference of an inch or a couple inches that's a lot of syrup difference. These pails are a lot bigger so once they start sucking this down the temperature difference within this pail changes and it'll almost siphon it out every day, every night, a little bit. And it doesn't matter if they're strong colonies, they're just gonna suck that back anyways. It don't matter a damn. But when they start to fill up and they start taking the syrup slower, uh, we get more drip issues with these. So I kinda I put these on about a minute ago. We'll see. We tip them and farms a vacuum. And then it stops dripping and the bees will get on that screen and keep it clean so that's good we'll get uh, how many yards we're gonna do eight yards like this with the big pails drop a bunch of syrup down and then we're gonna come around take them off again and top up the hives with these gallon pails just to finish off the yards just to give the bees just a little bit more and we'll likely do that up to the end of September into October just to top them off so that's my strategy but right now we're taking off these small gallon pails because I need them elsewhere in the apiary <clears throat> I have no bee budget this year so I've been doing a lot of shifting with my uh, equipment which is fine makes things more efficient just we have to do a little more planning and these are going straight on to the nukes we primarily feed the nukes with these gallon pails because they uh, first off they don't need as much syrup and they fit nice and neat over top of these little nuke boxes. So we got a bunch of nukes we got to bulk up. We're going to use these pails, shift them back onto the nukes and get them fed up as well. So we're going to spend the rest of today on this project, feeding these all these outskirts with the pails. And then we're going to go and uh, feed the nukes tomorrow. And I want to get pretty much syrup on all the colonies were available for all the colonies by the weekend and we'll see where we're at middle of next week go around and start topping them up our syrup facility is extremely low tech it's just a tote and a hose and a valve and a pail and we haul the empties up to the truck and then we haul the full ones out to the hives. It's the most simplest way of handling. You don't have to worry about pumps or anything like that. It's the way to go. Mm -hmm. 
ready for the feast.